So how do these findings fit into the context, larger context of MI and um, PCI care for patients? N we know these um, drugs are not, the um, 2B, 3A drugs are not used in all cases by physicians. Correct. In fact, uh, in general, a minority of physicians all over the world use 2B3As, but among those doctors who feel strongly about using 2B3A as a way to prevent platelet-mediated complications during angioplasty, this gives doctors a direction uh, to use eptifibotide preferentially compared to upsiximab because there was no difference in terms of its efficacy but also it provides a simpler strategy for those doctors who do use eptifibotide, namely suggesting that a shorter duration of eptifibotide may work just as well as a longer duration but will be uh, associated with far fewer bleeds. So among that fraction of doctors who use 2B3As, it is very helpful in further refining how they use the 2B3As. And as, as research moves forward, um, what do you see as the, the next step for looking at whether you could possibly use an even shorter duration? Well, uh, this morning all of us heard the results of the very large Triton trial which uh, focused on a new platelet inhibitor compared to clopidogrel. And I think the overwhelming message from that trial is that the first 12 to 24 hours are the most important to minimize recurrent ischemic events. But if you maintain too potent antiplatelet therapy for a long period of time, you begin to suffer from the bleeding side. And so, emerging from these studies and this meeting is a renewed focus on protecting the patient from recurrent ischemic events at the time that they are at greatest risk for ischemia which is early on and this is the beauty of the 2b3 receptor blockers that they offer potent immediate inhibition but tailor that therapy in order to be able to turn it off as soon as possible so that you don't uh, have bleeding complications which we know based on brief PCI may be more likely with longer duration of therapy. Okay. Great. Thank you Dr. Cohen.